Something we do uh, and on the guard end, really trying to work on guard development, uh, is we like to be able to incorporate a lot of different skills together. Uh, the thing that we like to do from the guards is being able to pass, handle the basketball, and get shots off as much as we can. We love to be able to start with the ball up here with the coach, and now we want to be able to make the pass over uh, to the wing spot and make an entry pass into the strong side post player. Here, we're really trying to give them a target. You want the pass, a bounce pass, uh, up high, leading them to the rim. As soon as they make the pass, though, we really want to now be able to think what's going to happen next. So then we want the player making the pass, coming right off the chair. This is a nice little chair set up for them with a basketball on it uh, so that now they have to come off foot to foot, shoulder to shoulder, come in and get a jump shot off. They're going to get the rebound, then they're going to switch lines. Same thing will be going on on the other side, exactly the same. Making the pass, coming off the chair, being able to shoot it. We'll add different skills to this. We'll uh, add where now you have to step behind, shoot the three, go and attack all the way to the rim. One side may be hesitating. So here we're just trying to incorporate a lot of different skills uh, all together at once. Then we'll move into, then one of our biggest concerns has always been being able to make plays within a lot of chaos that's going on uh, with the game where they're having to think and play all at the same time. Uh, so the next series that we really like to do here um, uh, is exactly sort of the same. They're going to make the pass, only now it's pretty much two on two, two on one, uh, whatever it is here. This player here is going to go and attack, go hard. Everybody's coming off of it. If this player will have some defenders out, uh, that'll be kind of dummy defense. If this player attacks, they can go score. We want them to go up and score. If they need to find their teammate, uh, out here, we want them to be able to do that. We want to make this as game-like as possible. Uh, and then, as soon as they come off, either go and score or they go and make the pass, then we have to think what's going to happen next. Uh, so you can't stand and watch if you're one of the other players. So here, this, lady, this time this player comes off, goes and scores. This player who had went for the flood pass, now they've got to come off hard and they're going to receive the next pass from the coach up top. Okay. Uh, if this offensive player now goes and attacks and now defense comes and seals it off and now they have to make a pass out to their other player, now we're going to get the shot up here and now this player who's come, made the pass, now they've got to think what's going to happen next. So now they're going to come off, come in the other side, looking for the shot, communicating with the coach, the passer up top uh, to make sure what kind of pass do I want. Do I want a curl cut? Do I want a, a flare into the uh, back? Do I want a, a fill cut? All of those different things, we're really trying to incorporate a lot of different skills together. All right, we want to constantly think is that once you make a play, now you got to get yourself back in for the next play. So that's what this drill is really trying to um, uh, put all together. Uh, and now being able to get also your players having to work on a lot of skills together. Passing the basketball, attacking, putting the basketball out in front of you, going and attacking from there, and then thinking the next play. So we're trying to put a, uh, accomplish a lot of things all together but this is our guard chair series.